risque behavior. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see, let's see, let's get into it. My favorite show. Yeah. Hi. What, what's, the, what's the name, baby? Oh, that's cool. My name's Cherie. Cherie. Um, Pookie said, folks better stop playing with Kendra. I mean, listen, my kindness is my silence. And always remember that. Ooh, I feel like I look mad greasy, but what's up? <laughs> what's, okay, what do you want me to call you, honey? Cherie. My name Mary Cherry. But what you want me I to call Mary you? Mary Cherry on Cherie? Facebook and Mary Benz on Instagram. Okay, but the question is, what do you want me to call you so I can be clear? Cherie. Cherie, okay. Cherie, and where are you calling us from, honey? Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York, and why? Uh -oh. um, how old are you, love? I'm 38. 38? What you do for a living? 38. I work from home. I work for a member contact center. Say one more time. I work for a member contact center. I work from home. A member contact center? Okay. So we got Sheree, Rochester, New York, 38. Do you have any kids? Yeah, I got two kids. I have a 19-year-old that's in college, and I have a 14-year-old. Okay. Are they both by the same man? New, two different. I met my daughter's dad when I was a teenager because I had a child when I was a teenager. Why did she say no like that? Like, no. Like, <laughs> she said it like, how dare you ask me if my children share the same father? Like, like that's not a good thing, right? For them to have the same father. It's crazy how she said that. Like, no. That when I was a teenager as well, we were 19 going on 20, and he's been a father to her ever since we first met. Okay, hey, you ever been married? Yes, I was married to my ex husband for almost 12 years. When'd you get divorced? Uh, we've been separated for about five, six years ago. Oh, separated. Are you divorced? Oh, yes, yes. When'd you get officially divorced? Well, we've been separated for five or six years. We just got divorced in 2021. So you were separate? 2021 was like three years ago. Yep. We were already separated so before then. We separated in 2019. Well, 2018 really, but 2019. Okay. So 2019. I'm just trying to make it work. <laughs> I guess what I'm just trying to make sure because I'm getting confused now. You said five or six years separated. But 2019 to 2021, I believe, is at five or six years. 19, no, it's well, not. Three years. No, so when we officially stopped being together, it was in, like, 2018, and then it lingered on until 2019, and then in 2021 is when we officially got divorced. Okay, fair enough. There I just go. want to make sure you're officially divorced, but now that we got there, okay. Yeah. All right, so Sheree, Rochester, New York, 38, mom of two children, one by her ex-husband, right? Yep. And I think Kendra is scarred, right? Because um, I did another video on this woman. She came on the Kendra G show and she said that she was divorced, but she really wasn't divorced. She was just separated. And the husband had came on the Kendra G show and exposed um, his wife saying that, hey, wait a minute, we're not divorced. As a matter of fact, um, next week we have to go meet up um, for mediation. So, um, I think that's why Kendra G is kind of a little thrown off. I think sometimes people talk too much too. You know, if you was married for 12 years, just say, Hey, I was married for 12 years. I got divorced in, um, 2019 and just leave it there. You know, um, sometimes people talk too much and they just, Oh, I was separated this and this and that. And then you get people adding up numbers in their head when you just keep it simple, you know, y'all being separated is really not an important thing it would be important if y'all were still married but if you've already gone through the divorce process and you're no longer together and it's cut you know clean break just say you were married got divorced this time i'm free to marry someone else all that legal stuff is out the way and just keep it simple and leave it there okay she's um and what's your job again honey I work from I work for AAA. I work from home. I'm in the member contact center, so answer emergency member calls. Member contact center. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what's your zodiac sign? Virgo. Virgo. 
All right. Now, Cherie, Rochester, New York, 38 Virgo, mom of two, one by her ex-husband. She's a She works in member contact um, support center. I'm basically a support. customer service agent. Okay. Well, that's easier to say, honey. Customer <laughs> service agent. Y'all be coming over here with these um, titles, child, customer service Because that's agent. what they said at my job. Okay. Okay. Well, either way, now we're here. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? <sighs> Somebody who is honest, loyal, who understands that I got stuff going on too at the same time. And then I'm not very affectionate at the same time. So I want somebody who's very understanding. And that look good. You're not very I don't affectionate. want to like ugly. You want to buy <laughs> that's ugly? Not just like my ugly, like, you know, like just be attractive. Okay, he has to be attractive. Cherie? Hello? My bad, Kendra. I'm getting phone calls. You know it's Friday. Oh, okay. So you say you want him to be attractive? Yeah, like, I don't want him to be, like, short, <laughs> right? I'm 5'5", five, five, so you could be taller than me and be 5'8". I just don't want nobody shorter than me. When people be saying, when Kendra say... <laughs> Kendra is quite mean. Look, um, when someone says, oh, I don't want somebody that's ugly. I want somebody that's attractive. And then you see Kendra G's face like, mm. <laughs> like they don't um, like they don't deserve it. You know, she doesn't say it, but it's in her face. Her facial expressions just always um, tell on her. Um, okay. I don't want nobody with like mad acne and stuff like that in their face or somebody who doesn't know how to car carry themselves. Or I want like somebody who like walks in confidence and like has good hygiene and takes care of himself and stuff like that, you know. Okay. And puts me first okay. above any and everything. And puts you close. It's two things, right? Like I hate when women talk about the skin and stuff like that because men don't get to walk around with makeup and the fake hair and the eyelashes and everything like that. Our face is just kind of our face. So it's kind of like a um, it's a harder presentation for us. Right. And so it's kind of irritating when women say it. But I do know what she means. And she is correct. You do want somebody that takes um, care of their skin and stuff. But for a guy, it's like, uh, you know, we can't say the same thing because they cover theirs up. And another thing is she said, oh, well, I want somebody to um, put me first and this and that. But at the same time, she's saying that she's also a person that. She doesn't show affection and do those things is what it sounds like. But she wants that from the other person. So I, I don't know, you know, if she seems nice, you know, starting off, she doesn't seem like a bad person or anything. But um, it's kind of like a little bitty red flags going up because it seems kind of like um, she seems kind of like a selfish person to be in a relationship with just so far so far but nothing just terrible about her i'm interested as to why kendra g posted this interview and just said that it didn't go well you know so could he have children of course i want to have one more child okay well if he has a child already, this year should be okay huh i said this year next year next year now if he has a child would you be okay if you you came after his child of course Okay. Um, of course, because nobody's coming you... before mine. Okay. Only reason I said that is because you said you want a man that's going to put you first. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Not when it comes to the kids, though. That's different. Okay. They're telling me to ask you, the cousins are telling me to ask you, do you have an OnlyFans? Yes, sir. What do you do on your OnlyFans? Nothing, really. I just post the same shit I got on Facebook. Such as? Just regular pictures of myself. Okay. All right. She does have OnlyFans for the cousins. I do. Hmm. I don't know if I believe that. People pay to see the regular photos that they can see on Facebook. They pay to see that same same thing on um, OnlyFans. I don't know. I don't know, would any of you guys out there, would y'all want to date somebody that had an OnlyFans or like a woman? Would you date a guy that had an OnlyFans and their excuses? Well, I just post what I post on Facebook. 
you can't even trust Facebook no more and stuff. And you damn sure can't trust Twitter, man. People had these little secret rooms where they're posting all kind of um um crazy sexually explicit content. So I I don't know about that. That's another red flag that just popped up. But I don't know. This this is risky behavior. I gotta point it out. That's that's risky. Just started it. I'm trying to get good at it. I don't really know what I'm doing yet. But if y'all want to watch me, y'all can pipe me up. Y'all can send little requests and stuff like that. Then I can get it going. You feel me? But we're not here to promote your OnlyFans page. I was just um, <laughs> figuring out. I'm just saying if y'all going to talk about me about it. Say again, honey. I said I'm just saying if they're going to talk about it, then be about it. It helps support. That's fair. Now we'll move forward. What are your deal breakers? Hold on. That's not... That's not fair. If you're coming on to a dating site, that's pretty important um, to mention for anybody that would might see you and want to date you. So you can't get an attitude about it or try to be have a smart mouth about it. Like, oh, well, they going to talk about it. Hell yeah, we're going to talk about it. You're on a dating show trying to date somebody and you're saying what you want and stuff. But you have only fans that I think somebody that wants to date you is, is going to want to know that people want to know things like that. Nobody, I mo, majority of men are not going to want to be um, dating a woman that has OnlyFans. They're just not. Some people might be into that, but if they are, be upfront and honest about it and say, hey, you know, I'm looking for an open kind of type of relationship with a guy. Because that's one of the things you, when she asked her what kind of guy you're looking for, one of the things you should have said was, I want a guy that is comfortable with a woman who has an OnlyFans and is secure with a woman that may entertain people on the internet and be secure in that. Um, like everybody else, a liar, cheater, somebody who's in the street, somebody who don't know how to sit their ass down somewhere, or somebody who doesn't have their priorities in line. You feel like you have your priorities in life? I mean, not all the way, but to the, for the most part, yeah. So what's the man that you wouldn't date that doesn't have his priorities in life? Um, Kendra, I'm from Rochester, right? So where I'm from, there's a lot of dudes out here who, like, they don't got it together. Like, they just, they worried about the wrong thing. They worried about how they look. They worried about shoes. They worried about clothes. Like, they worried about the wrong things in life. Instead of like growing, maturing, building, and things like that, and invested in themselves. Okay. okay. That means well, those nothing. Those are the men that are said. trying to talk to you. It seems like. Not really. It's different types, but that's just the majority of the men that are in Rochester. You don't know Rochester, so we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do what? I said you don't know Rochester, so we can't really go there. Well, no, you know Rochester. What I'm asking you, what I do know is I'm having a conversation with you. So you describe a certain type of guy, and my question back was, are those the men that are trying to court you? There's different types of men that try to court me, but I feel like there's a majority of men who live here who just don't got their shit together, who just, they just float. And I don't know if it's the generation or not. Like, I don't know what's going on, that's, but it's okay. like. And, and, and not to cut you off, but that's fair. Now, my question is, do men that have their shit together try to court you? Yes. What's up with those men? Why can't you date them? Um, I feel like I live in a small town, so the men who do have their stuff together, they try to holler at me. They got, like, too many. Like, they just think they all of that when I think I'm all that, too, and I got my stuff together. So it's just, like, it's not going right. Like, they think they can have multiple women, but I feel like, you know, I got it going on too, so you can't do that with me. Okay. So the men that do have their stuff together, they just don't want to be in a committed relationship. Okay. So they will be in a committed relationship, but they want to play on your top. So they want to be with you, but they want to do whatever they want to do at the same time and like put you up and then like play in your face like on the side a little bit. You feel me? But wouldn't that not be a committed relationship then if he wants to still yeah, do other Yeah, women? definitely. I mean, well, it's a committed they, relationship because they'll, they will make you their main and then they'll put you up and then you'll be a certain type of way and y'all be together, but then they want to play and do other things on the side and then lie about it. So well, then that's it's like not, a committed okay, so relationship, me, but it's not. 
I guess, cheaters. Okay, well then let me then let me be very clear when I talk to you, I guess. So the men that have it together, you're saying they want to have sex with more women than just you. Basically, yeah. Okay. And you want a man that has it together, but wants to only have sex with you and only you. Period. Okay. All right. We got to the looks. Do we got to make a certain amount of money? Um, with the way the economy is right now, I will hope that you at least make 80K. Could he have children? Yes, of course. Do you want more kids? One more. One more. All right, let's do the Kendra cam. Ooh, wee. Okay. Gosh. Okay, hold on. Okay. I like you have a nice shape. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, Shereen, Rochester, New York. Do you want to be in Rochester? Not really. Okay, you're willing to travel. Um, 38, what's the age range you would date? Um, I'll say 35 to like 55. 35 to 55. All right, when was your last relationship? Uh, three years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Not answering it. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um... Uh, my patience, um, not being so tick for tack, because if you do something that makes me feel a certain type of way, then I'm going to do something to make you feel a certain type of way. And like I said, my patience and um, stop procrastinating so much. I'm a big procrastinator and I'll do things at the last minute. Okay, say it again. Procrastination. Um... So, oh, they're telling me to ask you this. DT said this. He says, she's pretty, Kendra. Would you discontinue posting on a sex worker's website for an honest man? So I guess the question is, would you give up your OnlyFans page for an honest man? Of course, as long as he helped me in the way that I need to be helped in. What does that mean? So he has to give you the money that you so want. So if he can help me financially to where I feel like that's not something that I want to do and he's going to be there for me, then of course. Why would I? Okay, so you would give up OnlyFans only if he's going to supplement the money that you would miss from it? Um, pretty much. Is there a dollar amount to that? Um, like I said, just make 80, at least 80K and be able to support me financially. I'm not, I just got started on OnlyFans. I don't have, I don't have no motion yet. <laughs> so, so how do you know? Because, okay, because you said that you would give it up if he's going to support you financially. So Exactly. Like, why would I? <laughs> you just started OnlyFans like you don't have a dollar amount you haven't made no money off of it um the average woman on OnlyFans doesn't make money on it you know people pretend like everybody's making all this money on OnlyFans but there's only a select few and it's kind of like this YouTube thing right you know um some people making real money off of it a lot of us just do it as a hobby we just enjoy doing it you know but we have other careers jobs or businesses um that we do you know but um another thing you want to be cautious of is this right she has a only fans and this is another red flag do not date or take someone serious when you are trying to be in a relationship with them and they say, well, um, if you do this, then I'll do that for this relationship. When you get with someone, like she said, well, I have a only fans. But if he makes 80K and he is able to support me, then I will give up this only fans. Just walk away from that person. When you are looking to be in a long-term relationship you want to be with someone that is already living their life as if they in a are already in a long-term relationship now does that mean they have to be perfect no but she has an only fans you don't want to have to get with her and bargain your way into um the type of relationship that you want it's not fair to you to do that to yourself. 
she should already be living her life um, like the good girlfriend, good wife that she says that she can be. And if I have to pay you, I, that's just like a ridiculous thought. I can't even um, fit that thought into my head. Right. Because here's the thing. Think about it this way. Um, say you meet somebody. Right. And say you're looking for a relationship that. Um, monogamous. Right. Um, would you enter into a relationship with someone that has a lot of sexual partners? And sure, they could give you the excuse of, well, hey, I've been single for this amount of time, so I'm free to do with my body whatever I want. And that is true. However, you are used to having multiple partners. Who's to say that when you get into this relationship with me, that you all of a sudden just cut that off? You all of a sudden are no longer used to having multiple partners? No, you do that because that's what you like to do and that's fine. But that is not a lifestyle that I care for. And it's the same thing with her having the OnlyFans. She is used to a certain amount of attention and doing what she wants to do. And I just don't feel like people can turn off certain things when it comes to their character and how they live their life. I just don't think they can turn it off like that. I think that you like that attention and that's what you want. And that's why you said earlier, I need somebody to make me number one. And she can say that. No, that doesn't include the kids, but I just don't believe it. So. If I were the guy that was approaching to date her, I would just say, you can keep your OnlyFans because I'm gone. We that shouldn't that's not even a conversation I want to have at the table while we're dating. Hey, you have an OnlyFans. Um you think you want to get rid of that? That's just a weird thing. And and when do you get rid of it? When do you feel secure enough in the relationship that you want to get rid of it. And here you are dating her and you're giving it your all and you're just waiting for her to feel secure enough or feel like you have given her good enough reason to get rid of it. And so, yeah, but I, I just wanted to say that um, date somebody that's already living the lifestyle that you want to live. Quit dating off of this whole potential and their promises and what they said they was going to do. That's like if you're a woman you're going to date a guy that's living the lifestyle you want to live. You want to date a guy that's already working, already saving his money, already um, managing his money well, already has his own place. If that's what you require, you don't date a guy and he tells you, well, you know, once we get together, I will get a job. And what, you know what? I spend a lot of money every year and I'm in debt. But you know what? If I should get in a serious relationship, I will save money. No. That, that, that is not how life works, and it doesn't work out for anybody. You can ask anybody with any dating experience, any um, years of living on this earth. They would tell you that it it never works that way. So her and this whole, I'm going to get rid of my OnlyFans if this, no. Date somebody that's already living. You want a husband? Date somebody that's already living their life like a husband. You want a wife? Date somebody that's already living their life. Like they are a wife. Don't expect people to switch it up because they're not. So how much money would you expect a month in order for you to let go of OnlyFans? Oh, like as far as like the, that, that means that I'm supplementing OnlyFans for what I'm making on OnlyFans for that person. That's what you're saying, right? And I'm telling you no, guys. No, 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 that's what, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what you're saying, Sheree. I asked you the question. DT sent $5 for me to ask you this question. And the question was, would you discontinue posting on a sex on a sex worker's website for an honest man? I don't feel like it's You're... a sex worker's website, though. But go ahead. Okay, either way, either way, you said you would if he was going to supplement the money. That's what right. you said. So I'm asking you, how much money is that to supplement? I don't know. At least $4,000 a month, then. Let's say that. 
on top of whatever you make the 80k so i want you to be clear because i you know i want you to make sure you know what you're saying so you would give up only fans if the guy is the honest man and giving you 4k a month it's really not about the money like that kendra so like it's really not that it's just that if you can financially support me, it's really not a dollar amount. I'm saying something just to say something, like to put something on it. It's really not a dollar amount. As long as you can help me financially support myself and my child, then it really doesn't matter like that. As long as you're there for me and we have an understanding within each other, it's really not that deep. Like I said, I just got started on it, so it's not that serious to me yet. Okay. So I, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't want to keep These are the words that you up. gave. No, no, I understand what I gave, but I'm breaking though. it down to you and letting you know what it is. You're not breaking it down right. You talking to... She... She just talking to be talking. She talked all that crap about them guys and having their life together and... The, all these dudes and what they doing and they ain't got their priorities and they ain't got their life together and stuff like that. Okay? It, it, and it, she just talking to be talking. You know, you're somebody's mom. You got a child that's in, in college. And it... People just don't have respect for family or anything anymore, man. I could, I'd be so ashamed if I, you know, especially this day and age, nineteen, you know, in college, and you know your mama got OnlyFans, or maybe they don't know, but maybe they do find out that they mama do got an OnlyFans. And she's somebody, mama, I'm um, saying this, and obviously you ain't got nothing too much together that you are saying to yourself, well, hey, I need money. Let me go get an OnlyFans. And it's she would be fine if she didn't come with the um with the cocky bravado of, you know, just, oh, this person gotta have this and this person gotta have that. And it's kind of seeming like, uh, maybe you don't have it. You know, and you try not to talk bad about people, but I mean, you're looking at the hair. She keeps patting it. You're looking at the choice of the necklace and you're looking at the fridge and, st you know, and she's just talking to be talking. That's it. And she doesn't have it. It's showing more and more as the interview continues that. She don't have it all together like like she say she do. She's just making up stuff. And I I would I would say I I don't think any guy should reach out to her and um try to date her unless that's his thing. It's giving ghetto. So I mean, if you're in the ghetto shit, then yeah, hit her ass up. But it she started off fine where I was like, "Oh, okay, she seems pretty." Seem nice, you know, but then as more and more information comes out and you're listening, you know, to the questions and stuff like that. And on top of that, she's just a liar. She's just faking. She's like, oh, I need a dollar amount for this, this and that. But you don't you don't even um make any money on OnlyFans. And I think she's hiding her true purpose. I don't think she's looking for a relationship. I think that she's looking for a sponsor. She just got, maybe she got an issue if the dude is um, sleeping around with other women. He She only wants him to sleep with her. But that's not how sponsorships work. It's not. So, I think she has to revisit her sponsorship plan and just be okay with that guy, um, you know, handling, um, you know, taking care of her financially so she don't have to do um, OnlyFans and um, he be able to be with whatever woman he wants to be with because if he sponsored her, then he's earned that. That's his right. It's his right. Circles. I'm not. Can you you are. No, you no, are. Because you, you, you try to bring it down to a dollar I'm amount. I'm trying to break it down. I'm trying to It's really clear. not a dollar no, amount, no, no, but I said no, no, it's 4000 on top of the 80K, but it's really not like that, like that. It's just like, well, then, if you can help to support honey. me in right. my financial endeavors and what I have going what on, we not gonna do, Sheree, What we're not going to do is you're going to watch this back, 
And I'm, all I'm doing is asking you to clarify your. Kendra, answer. don't do me like that. No, I'm gonna do you like that because what what you one thing you're gonna do is you're gonna control the words that are coming out of your mouth, and you're gonna learn how to be a little bit more respectful. Shoot. Now you on my time and you on my show. Yes. Yes. All right, you got it. So the question was clear. What you said was you would give it up if he gave you money. I'm asking you clearly what mo how much money would that be? I didn't so say you don't want going in a circle. So figure out what you me. want so you can get you said it money. and ask for a I said record. people financially support me. Child, child. Let me go. To, what's the last question? Why would a man be lucky to be with you? That's the thing. If you say I gotta financially support you, okay, how much is that? Cause you said you have a job and in the beginning remember she tried to give her job that fancy name turns out it's just customer service man get the fuck oh, that gets, okay. please please um, educate us all why would a man walking and breathing be lucky to be with your ass <laughs> Because my name is Cherie. And there you have it. How can he reach out to you? On Facebook is Mary Cherry. And Instagram is Mary Bands. And then my only fans is Mary Cherry as well. And there you have it. Bye, girl. Woo I knew she was going to say that. Woo cha. Yeah, you <laughs> have me tonight, child. Now I told you I'll be trying to. Woo. I'm done. I got to go work out. Risky out. Risky behavior.